veteran friends. We're back in double drop D tuning this week. For those of you that aren't familiar with double drop D, from standard tuning, you tune your first and your sixth strings down a full, st full step from E to D. And it leaves us with this uh, lovely lush palette to play uh, some great classic songs from the late 60s and early 70s uh, from the likes of Crosby, Stills and Nash and Neil Young that use this tuning liberally. Our song today is Find the Cost of Freedom by Crosby, Stills and Nash and uh, we're playing a version that's in double drop D. I think they did it couple of other different ways too, but uh, the one I'm settling on here is double drop D. So let's talk about strum pattern first, and it's my usual strum pattern. I hit the bass strings and then do a down, up, down, up, down. And you can hear my uh, fingernails hitting the top of the guitar. I don't recommend that, but it adds a little bit of rhythmic character, and uh, I didn't even know I did it. <laughs> Until somebody pointed it out to me, or somebody asked on one of these videos, what's that clicking sound? But anyway, so be it. So that's the D chord we're starting with. Um, I'm using my index finger on the third string, second fret, and my ring finger on the second string third fret it's one of four chords in the song so we've got the d we've got a d seventh i've shifted i'm using my middle finger now on the third string second fret and my index on the second string first fret you could if you wanted to start with your middle finger on the third string second fret and use your ring up there on the second string third that way the, the transition from the d to the d seventh is a little smoother. The third chord is an F6. If we were in standard tuning, that would be called an F major seventh, but because we've dropped the first string down to a D, it's an F6. But I've got my ring on the fourth string, third fret, middle, third string, second fret, index on the uh, second string, first fret down to a C. And everybody knows the C shape. It's the first one we learn oftentimes. D, D7, F6, C, F6, C. So you can hear the little uh, connecting riffs that I'm using there from the F6 hitting the um, fourth string, hammering from open to second on the third, playing that C, and then I'm hitting the uh, fourth string, two open, fifth string, three to the open D. So it's... Find the cost of free. 
Cost of Freedom seemed like an appropriate song for Memorial Day weekend, so hope you guys enjoy that. If you've got a couple of uh, great singers and you can do that three part Crosby, Stills, and Nash harmony, oh my god, does that really make this song come alive? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Double drop D, find the cost of freedom. Have a great Memorial Day weekend, and I look forward to sending you another song next week. Until then, adios, my friends.